Okay, so I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, last time I did something similar to this was my studio tour many years ago. And um, a lot of things have changed since then. Hello guys, this is Colin Studios. Today we're going to be doing a special video, which this video is only going to be out for a little bit. It's not going to be out for all that long. Uh, so those of you who are watching this, you guys are very lucky. Because, well, not, maybe not very lucky, you may not care. Uh, but you guys are kind of lucky because you get to see my studio tour where I film my stop motions. And also, you get to see a sneak peek of my upcoming stop motion. Which, I am working on a Lego and Dragon movie part 2. I'm a few minutes into that, maybe like 6 or 7, I don't know. Um... So, uh, yeah, I know a lot of you have been asking me questions and stuff that I couldn't really answer through comments because it's just too complicated to explain through a simple comment. So, um, thank you guys for 200 subscribers. And, yeah, I'm going to do, like, a little tutorial or whatever. And here's a little look at the beginning of episode four. Um, yeah. Alright, so first thing is I'm not very professional. I don't have a camera. I don't have, well, I do have a computer. I just don't use it, at least not now. I film and edit everything on my phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You don't need a Note 9, though, specifically uh, to do what I do. I'm just telling you that I'll use my phone. You can use a phone, iPad, you know, tablet or whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip on to here now and show you the rest and on here you can see the app that i use it's called stop motion studio very basic uh, very simple very easy to use and um there's the pro version which i didn't get but i basically bought everything in the app even though i didn't i don't use it all right so let me just go into all right here this is from episode one so like uh you have i don't even know so the only things that I actually use um, on this are like the sound effects or like whatever, which is really important. Drawing, which is really important. Uh, you don't have to draw your effects, but it's still uh, important for something that I will talk about later. And I think that's literally all I use. And for some reason, I, I bought everything because I'm special like that. Oh, and import photos. I use that sometimes to get, like, close-ups of the faces. Alright, so the first thing I want to walk you guys through is action scenes. So, um, I'm just going to show you this scene right here from episode 1, uh, frame by frame. Uh, so it's the scene where Kai and the Quiet One are having a little bit of a duel. So I'm just going to go through frame by frame and talk about it, and you can see basically, you know, what I do. So I start off with the Quiet One moving down, and he starts off moving slow. Uh, moving his axe down and uh, he just keeps doing that at this point yeah he's going pretty slow and then at this point kind of starts to come back up you see here and then that's when Kai starts to move and then this next frame no it's not this one uh, but as you can see the quiet one's coming up more he's coming he's moving a bit faster now Kai's moving a bit faster as well and this is where the camera starts to move so what I do um, when I animate fight scenes is I always have the camera follow the person that's attacking. Okay, so anyways, right here the quiet one is going to be attacking. So I have the camera moving, following him. As you can see, he's moving significantly more here. And uh, Kai is as well. Uh, because um, I'm doing what you probably heard a lot. is easing in and easing out. So you start off slow. And... Um, start going faster and at this point the quiet one starts to slow down his body has already stopped as you can see it gets slower and slower here and then it stops and then he basically what I do I really like how so what I do is I have his arms still coming up his arms aren't coming down yet but his torso is it just makes it it, it feels more fluid so I have his body come up it stops the axe is still coming up while well, the axe is still coming up as you can see the axe is coming up as his torso is coming down it just adds more power and more, I guess, oomph to the swing. And so this, this is when the camera, yeah, it goes this way. It's following the quiet one, as I said. 
and now he's bringing his arms and his torso down onto Kai, and then it kind of knocks Kai's sword down as a reaction to it, and this is where the camera kind of slows down again, because uh, then Kai is going to attack. He brings his sword out from under, and I don't even know what happened there, and just kind of knocks his axe off out of his hands. This is where it just kind of switches so you can see what's going on. And I really like this part right here. Um, so Kai, basically, he kind of, he's coming back. He kind of, like, comes back here and then loops like, around almost, as you can oh, see. Oh, snap. There. And then the camera starts yeah. to follow the attacker again, uh, like I said. Kai, he's just kind of winding up. follows the attacker. And it's going in this weird motion, like, uh, so yeah, it's just kind of, like, curving around. And, you know, just progresses at this point there's a it's moving quite significantly you can see how fast Kai's moving there and then he kind of so I'm supporting the sword there the sword's not actually in his hand it's being supported by clay and um the quiet one kind of just ducks out of the way there that's yeah significant movement um the camera is moving along with Kai and this is where it looks so weird it stops so suddenly. Um, but then Kai, he starts to spin his sword. The quiet one. Slowing down right there. And then the camera again, it goes back. Following Kai as Kai, you know, twirls his sword around. Doing whatever there. Quiet one's back up by now. He transitions. Yeah, he transitions the sword into his other hand. And it looks so weird here. But it looks good. It looks good in the final thing. Um... And then he kind of brings his sword down over his head. Back towards the quiet one. The quiet one just ducks out of the way. Um, and, so, and so this is what the final thing looks like. And so that part, like, there are, yeah, there are some frames in here that don't look the best. Like, you know, how his sword transitions like that. But since he's moving so fast, you can't really tell. And it looks natural. Um... Yeah, I mean, I really like how that turned out, and that was my favorite part. Well, yeah, that was probably my favorite part about episode one. Um, so yeah, that's just that, like, just some basic, um, you know, whatever. And here, I guess I'll just... Actually, no, 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 I do want to show you this. So I'm just using scenes from episode one because it's quicker to show. Alright, so this is how I do my mask uh, uh, transitions or whatever. How the ninja put on their masks. And, um... I do like how I do this. Most people, like, bring their arms, like, all the way around. Um, I don't do that because it just looks unnatural. Like, I do it more how if someone were to put on a ninja mask, how it would actually look like. So, I got Zane moving it. He's really moving really slow here. Uh, his torso and his uh, arm just moving really slow. Starts to pick up a bit here. Going faster. Just keeps going faster. His torso. He's not moving his torso anymore. Goes fast and slows down again. His arm is still going fast. He brings his, as you can see, he, he moves right there. That bugs me. I don't like that. It bugs me, but you can't really tell, which is fine. But uh, at this point, like, because if I were to actually just move my heart, his arm behind his head, sorry, I can't talk, his hair would move, so I just moved his arm all the way around his body. Um, and then there, it's right there. And then it's moving really slowly at this point. And then it's coming back. He leans forward. And then he puts... Okay, so this is the start to the mask transition. Oh my gosh, I can't say a word. Whatever. Mask putting on thing. You know. Uh, so this is the bottom piece to um, their Sons of Garment on outfits. Um, well, the bottom mask piece to their Sons of Garment outfits. And I really like... I've been doing this for a little bit now. It looks so good. In it, so I have that. Next frame is that just the regular hood right on top of his head, um, and then yeah, it's on. And then as you can see, I like how I did his like his see his robot face now, and then he basically just he s slows down here, and then he comes back up. So yeah, so here's what that looks like. Looks pretty good. All right, so for this next little demonstration that I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to, oh my gosh, I just had a voice crack there. 
Um, so for this next demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make things fly. And um, this has been asked a few times. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys it here. Really simple on Summer Studio. So first I just want to show you I animate at 15 frames per second. Um, and let's get in here. So I'm just animating on the corner of my set because, you know, being taken up right now by, by uh, production for episode 4. So, okay. So I'm making your characters fly. The most important thing is um, that you don't have light flicker. And I didn't know this, but you can actually prevent light flicker in Stop Motion Studio. This is really cool. So if you go up to this bar uh, thing up at the top here, uh, you see, I don't, honestly, I don't pay attention. I think it's just these two. You want to click these two, all right? And what you can use them for also, honestly, you might just have to use click one, not both of them. There's automatic white balance and automatic exposure um i just disable both of them i lock both of them i don't know if you have to i just when i was playing around i was like uh oh, maybe that'll help because i was animating the season finale for uh sons of Garmadon, and there was a lot of light flicker if you look at the beginning of the fight scene uh um in my season finale there was a lot of light flicker and that was really bothering me i didn't want it to bother me for the rest of the episode because i knew i was going to have a scene where Lloyd basically flipped over uh, Garmadon's dark powers, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I had to find a way to get rid of light flicker and see how you just lock those two. Also, what these can be used for is to make the scene look darker or brighter. Like if you were to look up at a lamp right here, turn those both off, come back, it's really, really dark. Yeah, that one's really dark. But, um, see, like that. And you can make it like nighttime. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I just want it to be normal right now, so I'll just turn those off, and my light should not flicker. Obviously, though, if the sun is out, and it's moving in and out of clouds, and, you know, your camera's capturing that, it's not going to stop that, unfortunately. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, is I'm going to take Kai off, and on my phone, unfortunately, I have to take two frames. Alright, I'm because... For some reason, the first frame is always darker. You'll see in a second. Um, so I got Kai here. And then I'm just going to take a picture of Kai. Alright. I'm going to have him do his, you know, whatever. It's going to wind up. This isn't going to look the best. I don't want it to look the best. Don't care. It's just for demonstration. doesn't need to look the best. I just want you guys to know how to make your things fly. It's not going to look the most natural. That's okay. It's gonna look weird, it's gonna look bad, but I don't care. So I'm just trying like, I'm wind up for the jump here. I'm not gonna bother having him come down, I'm just gonna have him like just flap into space like Superman. Cause you know, why not? Alright, I'm not going to do another one. So I'll just take another frame here. Why not? Let's see if that looks good. I'm going to have him come back up. This is going to look really bad. <laughs> That's okay, though. Right, I need his arms to come up quick here. Move his arms real fast. Oh, that's not fast enough. This is going to look really bad. That's okay, though. Also, you see the sidebar right here on the left side? This, unfortunately, my phone has two cameras, so it's not the most accurate. You can clearly see, like, the studs, how they move and stuff. But you can kind of, it kind of shows you when you press this bottom button. I pretty much always have this on. Your character changing. It's called an onion skin. Um, changing from each frame. I use it all the time. Because it provides a reference between your frame currently and your previous frame. Definitely recommend using an onion skin. I think you can use, like if you have your camera, like if you're using an actual camera, you know, and you're not a weeb like me. Um, you can plug it into like an editing software. I think you should be able to look at your previous frames there. Um, yeah, okay. I don't need this to look good. I just want to show you guys how to make things fly. That's all right. Okay, by the way, um, sorry if 
Oh, sorry, this these onion skins might be distracting you. Sorry if I like keep cutting the video forward or whatever. I'm getting notifications, that's why. Alright, so I'm just gonna put Kyle on top of this brick, alright. You know, he can go on top of the brick. Why not? This oh my gosh. I don't care though. Um Yeah, let's go with that. Um Let's get two bricks here. Oh, I just knocked my monastery. I didn't knock it down, but I knocked it. And then, no, why do I have onion skins on? Did I, when did I turn that on? Must have done it subconsciously. Guess I'm just too used to it being on. Um. All right. Where can I find some? Sorry about this. Just getting two more. And that should be fine. He'll he'll be off frame next time. Anyway. Take a picture. Whatever. Alright. Let's see how horrendous this looks. That's not that bad. Alright. So what I do is this clean frame here. You see how this, this is what I'm saying. I don't know if this is just my phone or if it's just a stop motion studio thing. But you can clearly see the difference in lighting between these two frames. The first one is always darker. So that's why I have to take two frames before I start. Um, Alright, so this looks perfect. There's no light, light, light flicker, which is great. Alright, so what I'm going to do, and this you can do, it's just masking. Most of you probably know how to do masking, some of you don't. That's why I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to select it, copy, and this is where the painting, I remember I, I told you you're going to need painting for this. It's like 99 cents, the dollar. Um, so, wait, did I copy that? Paste. All right, so I got this clean frame right here. By the way, I figured out how to do this myself. I'm, I don't know why I said that, but um, I don't know why I said that. Why did I say that? I don't know why I said that. I'm just, you know, I'm stupid. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to select the frame here because sometimes when I press something. So also, it's not much studio. Again, I don't know if this is just thing I got to delete deselect right here i don't know if this is just a me thing or something but you know what let's see if i can get an example for it uh, let me just put in an audio sometimes like if i put down an audio it'll be like on a different frame so that's why whenever i'm uh doing this i always have to select because if i want to delete a frame like and i click delete it might delete another frame and not the frame that i want it to delete all right, so since I'm doing it on my note, that means I have an S Pen. So I'm going to use this S Pen here. All right, I'm going to go to Erase. All right, so what I'm going to do is literally just Erase. Look, it's gone. Wow. It's going away. I'm literally just coloring it away. Um, I know it looks weird, as you can see on the sides. You can clearly tell uh, that it looks like it's it's been erased or whatever. That's because of, like I said earlier, my phone has two cameras. I don't, I know there's a little whatever in, in between his legs there. Doesn't matter. I know it looks bad, but here, wait, watch this. Ugh, that doesn't look good. You know, we'll just leave it like that. Oh, there's a shadow back here. We can't be having the shadows. Wait, no, I don't, frick, dude. Ah, oh, and look at that. It just crashed for me. But you see, now it doesn't look bad. Obviously, it looks bad around his feet, but you can't see the blob that's going around. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't need this to look good. Um, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So that's how you erase it. Um, so yeah, I showed you some easing in here. So I start off slow, and then he went faster, and then he, he flew up into space like Superman. I, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't get to show you the entire thing. So yeah, then you do this. So what you can do is you can select... Copy, go to the next frame you want, select, paste, bam, go into here, and you just start erasing. And wham, as you can see, there are some spots that I missed, but that that's all right. This isn't, uh, I just hit my eye. Oh my gosh, I'm bad at this. All right, I need to plug my S pin in real quick. All right, so audio, <clears throat> audio. So audio is another thing you need. 
So Stop Motion Studio provides you with these sound effects. I never use those, like I might sometimes. But what you really are going to be using is albums over here. So, all right. I don't know if this is on iOS. Um, I know it's on Android. This is a very important part if you guys want audio, like whatever, sound effects, music, whatever. So, there's an app, at least on Android, called Ventri Vid Trim Pro. Vid Trim Pro. All right, actually, you know, I'm just going to go here. It's, it's this app. Um, where is it? This one right in here, Vid Trim Pro. So what I can do is, uh, as you can see, there's some stuff in here. Yeah, don't don't mind most of this. Um, but so what I can do is I can click on something, and then you see this uh, one right here, save the one I just clicked on, save as MP3. So what you can do is like right now I'm screen recording. Just take a screen recorder, it doesn't matter. Just, everybody knows how to get a screen recorder. Just search up screen recorder in the Play Store or whatever. Get that. What you do is so you screen record the sound effect you want. And this is really bad, I know. <laughs> most people don't acquire sound effects like this, but you know, this is how I acquire most of mine. So you get the MP4, all right, you got it, you got your video, you save it as an MP3, you title it as whatever. I'm gonna go back to Stop Motion Studio. Um, so what you can do is once you turn that into an MP3 and title it, you can go to Audio Albums. Ventrum Pro is the first thing. And bam, look at all of that. And I got a just entire collection of different Ninjago songs right here. I just labeled them Ninjago song whatever and then put a number next to it. Um. So yeah. So I go. it goes up to 20. There's going to obviously be more in the future. And there's more that aren't numbered. I have like Ninjago OV, OG Overture. Um, Ninjago Hands of Time. Ninjago Green Ninja Theme. Uh, Ninjago Chase, a bunch of different stuff, like, I'll just click on one here, wait for it to start, I guess, never mind, but, oh, well, that's right, I don't have my audio, <laughs> this is just great, no, oh, media, not ringtone, um, oh, yeah, Actually, I didn't mean to to uh, show you guys that audio clip, but um, if you know what that soundtrack is, that's a little hint to what's to come in the future. If you know what I mean. Some of you guys may know what I'm talking about. That theme. Okay, I'm just going to be quiet. I'm not saying, say anything else. Yeah, it's a little hint for a video to come in the future. Um, And actually, you might have saw it while, while scrolling through. You know what? I'm just going to actually scroll down. Wait, is it down here? Can you guys... Oh, well, there it is. It's one of those. Future video. Alright, I know this was really bad. It was terrible. I'm not good at this. Um. Yeah. I'm not good at these types of videos, guys. Um, I haven't done one in a while. And it was a disaster. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm just going to roll a clip from that. Mad and he's very serious about yoga, so he got super mad and enjoys and came to attack. And as you can see here, um, I have uh, hello guys, this is Colin Thurs, and I'm sorry for what just happened. Um, but this is a recording later after the video. Um, so basically, what just happened is I was explaining stuff that was going on, and then I dropped my phone, and yeah, so yeah, you know, it's not. I'm not the best of these kinds of videos. Sorry if it, you know, dragged on for a little while. Um, you know, I tried. I also never bought the Spinjitzu pack, so I just made my own Spinjitzu for all the ninja, except Nia. But that's okay. They look actually pretty good. It's Kai's, Zane's, Bill's, Jay's, Lloyd's, no Nia's, bunch of Oh, dang. Um, you know, miscellaneous. Whatever. I got all of that down there. Bunch of bikes. Some 
Got construction paper right here, which I used episode two for a little scene. Got just a bunch of plush light. This was used for the Palace of Secrets. Inside a bunch of these. I got some also uh, here. Wait just a second. Uh, oh no, that broke. I'm sorry guys, this is a very, very bad video. And I know it is, but I'm trying real hard here. Uh, okay. So, I'm just gonna... I, I got these. So these are just walls that I built. Just walls. And this is a little... Oh my gosh, dude. What are you doing? No. Um... Yeah, just a little corner piece right there, and a little corner piece, and walls. Walls are important. Um, got this brick bolt, rock wall, mountain things, flashlight are important. Just a bin of other stuff on my ears. And, um, yeah, so this is my very professional uh, stop motion tutorial. Uh, for 200 subscribers, yay! And you guys have been asking me a bunch of questions for a while. I hope I answered most of them. I hope I helped you guys out. I really do want to help you guys. Um, thank you for all of your support. Literally, everything I have been receiving is just positive or constructive, which I really appreciate. So thank you guys so very much. Um... That voice crack though. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, just thank you for all your support.